Hey, it's Cool Cleveland correspondent Carol Drummond. I'm here at the Butler Institute of American Art. I'm with Dr. Lewis Zona of the Butler Institute, and he's going to tell us about this new um, exhibit that is relevant to Northeast Ohio. Well, the, the exhibition is called the National Mid-Year Show. Okay. And it, uh, it invites artists from around the country to submit works. It's a juried annual show. Okay. Uh, one of the oldest such exhibits in, in the United States. It's in the 75th year now. Uh, but anyway, what, what happens is that works are submitted. Uh, an outside juror makes decisions as to what would constitute a good show and puts a show together. Okay. So when is the show opening? So the show opens uh, June 26th. Okay. And it runs through August 28th. It's, it's uh, again, it's, um, it's a highlight of our, of our exhibition uh, season, uh, this mid-year show. Okay. And uh, usually there, there are a hundred paintings, uh, drawings, uh, prints, their they're works, uh, uh, flat works, two-dimensional works, as we say. Okay. And, uh, Usually we get a nice uh, showing of artists from the Cleveland area, and this year is no different. It's a, uh, in fact, I think it's a who's who of, uh, of Cleveland artists. Really? And we're really, so, we're really pleased at that. So it's a national show, and yet the, there's so many... Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Uh, it's become very, very popular in the Cleveland area. So okay. we, we uh, usually get some of the best artists uh, in the, in the region. So tell us a little bit about the Butler Institute. The Butler Institute is our country's first museum of American art. It's devoted strictly really? to the art of our countrymen. Uh, it, it contains about 21,000 artworks um, going back uh, three centuries. Uh, the earliest work is 1719. Uh, the most recent work is 2011. So it's a, it's a wide-ranging uh, collection of, uh, of American art. The interesting thing about the Butler Institute is it's one of the few museums in our country that is uh, absolutely free in terms of admission. Really? And so uh, we, uh, uh, we're we really proud of that. We work hard to make that possible. Okay. So I see some works um, set out here. You're just setting up the exhibit right we're now? Right now we're setting up the National Mid-Year Show. Okay. And so the, the, um, our preparators are uh, uh, trying to figure out what would go where, what would best go where. Wow. Over the years, uh, this, this exhibition has attracted some of the most significant artists in our country. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, it, it, as a matter of fact, it's a way of, in many ways, introducing the, their work to, to the country. Uh, so they get their start here, and we're very proud of that. How wonderful. How many works are in the exhibit? Usually, uh, there, we, we, we shoot for about 100 uh, individual pieces. Okay. And, uh, uh, and usually, they're uh, of outstanding quality. The, the interesting thing also about it is that you get a, you get a good sense of what the, what's going on in American art today. Okay. Uh, the, the wide range of philosophies, the wide, wide range of styles. But you also will see that there are a number of artists who have been inspired by other artists. And, and that's always fun to, 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 to look and to discover uh, how artists uh, uh, are, take the ideas of other artists and, and mm -hmm. explore them and exploit them and, and reacting and to the climate. Them and, mm -hmm. Exactly right. Okay, I see. So, um, and this is right in downtown Youngstown, isn't it? it yeah, the Butler Institute is on Wick Avenue in, in the heart of Youngstown. Okay. Uh, it's a McKim Mead and White building uh, from uh, in, in 1919. Okay. And uh, with uh, additions that have been added over the years. Uh, uh, we're particularly proud of an addition that we put on about 10 years ago, which is devoted to digital art. Oh, really? So this, is, this generally tends to be art that, uh, that uh, uses new media. Uh, although there, there's a preponderance of digital work in, in, this, in, in this installation. Okay. Um, great. Well, this has been really informative. It's so exciting to see such a huge number of the percentage of pieces in this particular show that are from Northeast Ohio artists. That's right. And, yeah. uh, and you'll, you'll see that the quality is outstanding. Great. Well, thank you so much. I'm, I'm remembering that when you approach the Institute, you look for the green Indian out front. Is that right? <laughs> It's a bronze Indian a bronze. called Indian Scout okay. by, by an artist named Massey Rind, and it, 
it uh, is a good marker for us. So when you see the Indian, you know you're here. Turn left. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Cool Cleveland correspondent Carol Drummond, have a great week in Cool Cleveland.